Dedek TV KPM Hello Assalamualaikum everyone Now we are watching Road to Success SPM 2021 With me today, your host Wani Kerry But before that, I would like to ask all of you How are you all doing? I um, hope you guys are all fine because right now we know that uh, we are still in the middle of the pandemic of COVID-19 and I would like to remind you again and again to always follow the SOP given by the government uh, by uh, how are you guys going to do it to always wear your hand sanitizer when, whenever you touch any uh, surfaces and secondly to always wear your face mask whenever you're in public and lastly to always know to take care of of your social dist distancing at least one meter in public all right so for today we are going to learn a very interesting subject and it is very important this subject is named english subject and i'm sure you guys want to know who is our teacher today let us see the profile of our guest guest of the day Let us welcome our teacher of the day, Teacher Faiza. Assalamualaikum, Teacher. How are you doing? Assalamualaikum. I'm doing great. Alhamdulillah. We are very great to have you in our Road to Success studio today, Teacher. Thank and you. before we start, uh, I will usually ask the teacher what are we going to focus on our, uh, in our lesson today, Teacher? Okay, uh, simply say that for today, we will uh, do some revision for Unit 5, that is Group protein for form 4 okay mm -hmm. so basically in, in the chapter we will see a number of interesting tasks covering all four skills that we have in english language which is speaking writing listening and reading mm -hmm. as for today we will be focusing on reported speech which will help students to enhance their writing skills all right so we already know what are we going to learn today but before that i would like to ask teacher faiza to come okay. to our very special table that we prepare the hand sanitizer for teacher to wear it okay, uh -huh. okay. okay. as a precaution okay all right so Wani will wear the hand sanitizer too and throughout this program we will be wearing our face mask uh, throughout the whole program as a precaution all right so uh we already uh discussed with our teacher what are we going what are we going to learn today it's reported speech huh? and i hope all of you are ready to learn and study with our teacher today but before that uh let us came back to road to success spm 21 of the days Didik tv kpm my name is Nurul Nadra binti Muhammad Supian and I'm from Sekolah Agama Menengah Bagan Terap. The best advice I have ever got is from my mother. Her name is Nur Juliana binti Ismun. She said that it's okay to take a break. Everyone has their own limit. Just like how you learn or do revisions for your studies, pushing yourself too hard is not worth it. Sometimes you just need to slow down your movements and focus on the basic things first. I just want to say that I love you so much, Mom. Hi, my name is Nusha Saria Bt Ismail and my name is Nusha Shaina Bt Ismail. We are, we are from, from Samagandra. The best advice we have ever got is from our mother. Her my name is June. We have been struggling to find consistency in our study and we are feeling very frustrated about that. Therefore, she advised us that life is not a sprint, it's a marathon. What she said was that it is important for us to study smart and be confident to what we are doing. Plus, she mentioned that the things we wanted will eventually come. It's very important, especially in this education, to be able to enjoy the journey, not just focusing on destination. We need to embrace the struggling and we will learn more than was possible. Our mother said she loved us so much that she wanted the best for us. So, so we love you mom. The best advice I have ever got is from my mother. 
Her name is Jamra Binti Hairani. She said that education and manners are both important. People don't look up on us from where we're from or which grade did we get if we have bad manners. Once you do something bad, people will remember forever. Maybe they say it's okay, but in the deep of your heart, who knows? She advised me to study well and keep good manners. She also reminded me to help people when they are having hard time. Did it TV KPM. Welcome back in Road to Success SPM 2021 with me, Wani Keri, and our guest today, teacher Faiza Ayuni Jamil from SMK Bagan Terap, Sungai Besar. All right, once again, I would like to remind before we start our lesson of the day, I would like to remind uh, all of you to always take care of yourself and follow the SOP given by the government by wearing hand sanitizer, wear your face mask, and have social distancing. All right, okay, let's help all the frontline to decrease the number of the COVID every day by taking care of ourselves and do your own uh, self-quarantine at home, all right? So right now, teacher, we are not yes. alone in the studio because we are going to call upon all the students from SMK Bagan Terap Sungai Besar to be with us today. Let us welcome all the students with us today. Assalamualaikum. How are you, students? Apa khabar semua sehat? All right, you can unmute your microphone and say hi. Hi. Ah. <laughs> okay, we can see there are five, uh, five female students and one male representative. Okay, so right now, I would like all of you to introduce yourself by saying your name and also your age. We will start with um, Sam. Sam Hisham. Hi, my name is Shamsul Hisham Ben Mokri mm -hmm. and I'm 17. Okay, Shamsul Hisham. Alright, so the next one, we would like to have Aini. Hello. Assalamualaikum, my name is Nur Aini Zakir Bikamal. I'm 17 years old. Alright, the next one, we have, okay, any of you can introduce your name? You can uh, raise up your hand and introduce yourself. Okay. Hello, my name is Nurin Shamini Binti Nazri. Mm -hmm, Nurin. Yes, all. Okay, we have Nurin, Shamsul, Aini. Okay, the next person to introduce yourself. Okay. Who wants to introduce yourself? It's okay, you can just go and say your name and your age. Okay. My name is Auni Arifa and I am 17 years old. Auni, hmm. right? Okay, yes. hi Auni. So for the next one, Farhani. Hi, my name is Kitinor Farhani Binti Azmi. I am 17 years old. Alright, hi Farhani. And the last one, Ain. Okay, now we already know all the students. We have Nurin, Shamsul, Aini, Ain, Farhani and Auni. Alright, so are you guys ready for our lesson today? If all of you are ready, please do a thumbs up like this to the camera. Okay, everyone is ready. If teacher is ready, you may start your lesson today, teacher. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Awani. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Let us start with the lessons today, kids. So, uh, you guys have shown the, the double thumbs up, meaning that you guys are ready to follow the lesson for today. Mm -hmm. So, as said before, today we will do um, some revision on chapter on unit 5, form 4. Okay. So, next, let us proceed. Okay. So, you guys on the screen, you guys will see a picture. You guys will see a picture. Okay. Uh, Farhani, what do you think the guy is doing, Farhani? Um, I think the mm -hmm. guy is climbing a mountain. Climbing a mountain. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. So, climbing a mountain is a kind of outdoor activity which is well liked by people all around the 
globe. Okay, moving on. Okay, so before we proceed, okay, let us take a look and digest the three objectives for the for today's lesson. Okay, so first objective is to change redirect speeches into reported speeches with correct sentence structure in task one. Okay, then number two, change three lines or dialogues into reported speeches with correct uh, sentence structure in task two. And last but not least, you guys are expected to share your favorite lines or dialogues in a movie in the form of a reported speech. Okay, moving on. So, just now Farhani said that the man is climbing a mountain. So, it seems like we have someone else who also love mountain climbing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we will, we will see a conversation in the picture, a conversation happening between John and Oliver. So, John is telling Oliver about his future plan. Okay, so John, sa uh, John said, I am going to go mountain climbing tomorrow. And Oliver responds by saying, that's cool, you better have a good rest tonight. And Mama there in the red shirt, he listens to the whole conversation. Mm -hmm. And next, now two days after that, Mama wants to tell one of his colleagues about the conversation between John and Oliver. So what Mama will do is to report the speech uh, by John. John gives up a direct speech and Mamat will report the speech. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next. So this is the direct speech said by John just now. Okay, I am going to go mountain climbing tomorrow. John said to Oliver. Next. Okay. So to help you guys, to help you guys, teacher has provided a formula. Okay, actually there is no fixed formula in English language because there are a variety of sentence structures but this is the one that you can hold to okay so we will start with the name of the speaker followed by reporting verbs because because you are going to report the speech mm -hmm. name of the listener the person the speaker talks to followed by that it is optional you can have the word that or not subject or pronouns and details okay so what are reporting verbs actually so actually to report a speech we can choose to use any of the reporting verbs that are listed on the slides. Okay, so we have about 11 most common reporting verbs used by English language speakers. Okay, so you may use different reporting verbs based on the purpose of the speech. If the person is giving an advice, you can use advised. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if the person is giving a threat, you can use threatened. Next. So, to help you guys, a uh, teacher has listed the details, categorized the words in the speech. So, we have the name of the speaker, John, reporting verbs, you may choose one. Name of the listener, Oliver, who listens to the speech, subject or pronouns, he. Details, the detail is telling the future plan to climb a mountain. And the time expression is tomorrow. Okay, why do we, why do we change to the next day? Because we have to follow the correct timeline mm -hmm. okay so kids remember whenever you are changing the time expression make sure you refer to the timeline okay so this is some of the tips that I have, that I have provided for you guys okay so the, if the person in his direct speech used tomorrow you must change tomorrow into the next day the following day or the day after next if the person used or say yesterday you must change in the reported speech you must change into the previous day or the day before. Next two weeks from now, in the following two weeks or the next two weeks. Seven days in the past, the previous seven days or seven days before. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I Okay, I need. What if the person in his direct speech, if the person says uh, three months from now in the direct speech, three months from now, how would you change into the reported speech. How would, you, how would you change the time expression? Three months from now. May I hear from you, Aini? Okay, Aini, okay. give okay. a try. Okay, the next, the next month's weeks. Huh? The next the, month. The next month, three. Three months the from now. Month. The next okay, three, the months. Uh, three months. Uh -huh. Okay, the following three months. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay, it shows that you know that you have understood the way to change the time expressions. Yeah. All right, teacher, is it compulsory okay. to change it? What if the student uh, does not change to reported speech term? Okay, 
in case the students forget to change the tongue expression, mm -hmm. grammatically, it might not have, uh, it might not be um, a big issue. Mm -hmm. However, in terms of its context, mm -hmm. you have changed the actual date of doing the action, which mm -hmm. is which might cause you to lose some marks. Uh -huh. So okay. it, it is better to change to the reported speech uh, term, right? Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Proceed. So. To help you guys to try to change the direct speech from John to a reported speech, okay, teacher has given you the structure, based on the structure, based on the formula I gave just now, okay. So there are three hints, eh, one, two, three, four, there are four hints given. John, reporting verb, choose the suitable one. Oliver that, pronoun, which represents Oliver, okay. For this part, you have to be bear in your mind about the singular and plural thing. And then, what's going to? Details and the time expression. Okay, for this time, I would like to hear from Sam. Mm -hmm. Sam, would you like to share your answer with us? Okay, go Sam. Okay, try Sam. John told Oliver okay. that he was going to climb the mountain uh -huh. the next day. The next day. day. Okay, day. thank you, Sam. Mm. So let us check whether Sam's answer is right or wrong. Okay, yes. so this is the correct answer. John told Oliver that he was going to go mountain climbing the next day. Sam just now, he said to, to go and climb the mountain. Both of them meant the same. So the answer is acceptable. Good job, Sam. Good job, okay. Sam. So as you notice, Sam changed the word tomorrow to the next day. Yes. Okay, good job, Sam. So, actually, the sentence just now is taken from our textbook, okay? Form 4 textbook, Unit 5, Globe Trotting, page 71. So, people at home, if you have your textbook with you now, you may refer to the page mentioned. 71. Yes, okay. So, on the page, you will see the notes, the six sentences. Three of them are reported speech and three of them are direct speech. And the notes are followed. The notes are followed by... Five questions. Okay, so these questions will be the, a challenge for you guys. Okay, a challenge for you guys. So next, we will deal with three of them to test whether you have understood the concept of changing a direct speech into a reported speech. Okay, mm -hmm. for this time, teacher will give you guys about two minutes to try to convert the direct speech into converted speech. Okay, so two minutes, people. Two minutes. Okay. Direct speech to reported speech. Yeah, because mm -hmm. when, whenever we are going to write an essay, okay, we cannot simply say, okay, this person say I, this person say, because we are not doing a bedtime stories, right? Yes. Okay, so we have to know how to convert a direct speech into a reported speech. Mm -hmm. And using this will surely make your writing better. Yes. Okay, so how about you, Wani? How about your favourite outdoor activity? Just, just now, John likes to mountain uh, to mm -hmm. climb a mountain. How about you? Outdoor activity, I will choose jogging. Jogging? Mm -hmm. Why is it? Because it can make make us healthy. Make you healthy. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Okay, I, I like jogging, but I prefer cycling more. Cycling. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, people, kids. Kids, kids, kids. Okay, everyone. Kids. Everyone is done with the answer. Okay, I can see from the expression they are they are done with the <laughs> sentences. Okay, just now, just now, our our cute Miss Wani said that she loves jogging because mm -hmm. jogging can make her healthy. So I am. What what did I do? I have just reported her speech. Okay, uh -huh. so that is what you guys are expected to do. Okay, so now. The, the names whom I call, can you please read aloud the sentence, the direct speech and share with us your answer. Okay, so for sentence number one, I would like to hear from Ain. Ain. Ain Yusuf. Okay, I will cute Ain Yusuf. Okay, now Ain Yusuf, can you please share with us? But first, read aloud the sentence given. Okay, go Ain, give it a try. We will reach our destination tomorrow at 5 a.m. The tour okay. guide said to us. Okay. Uh, the answer is the tour guide told us that we would reach our destination the next day at 5 a.m. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you, Ayn, for your answer. Okay, so let us see. Let us check whether your answer is correct or not. So let us see. Okay, the tour guide told us that we would reach our destination the next day 
at 5 a.m. So, good job, Ayn. You have Yay. given us a correct answer. So, nice the rest, try, please Ayn. applaud for Ayn. <laughs> excellent. Okay, excellent, Ayn. So, what Ayn, what Ayn just did is to change, to change the pronoun and to change the time expression. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, let us move on to the second one. Number, second number two. My sister has bought all the necessary camping gear. Okay, for this one, for this one, Auni, I haven't heard your voice just now. I, uh, Auni, can Auni. you please share with us your answer? For the second one. Mm -hmm. The answer, the answer is, Kate said that mm -hmm. her sister bought all the necessary camping gear. Okay, so now, Auni, who is Kate uh, talking about, actually? Her sister. Her sister. Okay, the word her refers to who, actually? Her. Her. Cat sister. The word her. The word her. Or her cat. Cat. Okay, great. So, since the subject is Kate, so we cannot use his sister because Kate is a singular female noun. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. So, let us check the answer. Okay. Excellent, Auni. So, your, the, your answer is correct. Kate said that her sister has bought all the necessary camping gear. Okay, so there is no time expression given. Yes. So, you will, have, you will not have to change any time expression. Last but not mm -hmm. least, sentence number three. This is quite challenging. Yes, okay. teacher. Quite challenging. But mm -hmm. what if we take a break for a while okay. and we'll be back in Road to Success SPM 2021 right after this. Dede TV KPM Welcome back in Road to Success, SPM 2021 with me, Wani Keri and also our teacher today, Teacher Faiza from SMK Bagan Terap Sungai Besar and we still have all six students with us today, teacher, and we mm -hmm. just did two questions from direct speech to reported speech. So we would like to proceed with the third question of the day. Let's go, teacher. Okay, thank you, Wani. So let us proceed with the last question for our task one. Okay, so... For this one, uh, the name that I call, please read aloud the sentence and try to share your answer and give us your reported speech. Okay, mm -hmm. for this one, let us hear from Nurin. 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 Okay, so please give it a try. Read the uh, sentence aloud. I can't go hiking with you because I hurt my ankle yesterday. Ryan said to Fiona. Okay, and your answer is? My answer is... Ryan explained to Fiona that he could not go hiking with him because he had hurt his ankle the day before. Okay, mm -hmm. so I noticed that Nurin, Nurin, in the original sentence, right, we can see the word said there. But then when you change the sentence into a reported speech, you use a quite different reporting verb. So Nurin, in your sentence just now, what is the reporting verb that you use? Explain. Explained. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why why do you choose to use the word explained rather than using said? Because Ryan uh, explained uh, explanation. Okay, because mm -hmm. Ryan is giving an explanation to Fiona. Fiona. Yeah, thank you. Good okay, one. because he has broken his promise to Fiona. So what he did just now, he is giving an explanation or giving a reason. Yes. Okay, so let us che check the answer. Okay, great. So Ryan explained to Fiona that he could not go hiking with him because he had hurt his ankle the day before. Okay, awesome, Nurin. So kids, make sure that you will choose the suitable reporting verbs because the reporting verbs that you use may change the impact mm -hmm. or the meaning of the sentence. Okay, so... So, choose a reporting verb that is suitable with the context. So, let us check whether we have unlocked the first objective. So, you guys are supposed to change three direct speeches into reported speeches with correct sentence structure in task one. So, everybody now with their fingers, show me your score for this task. Did you guys, everyone, did everyone manage to get three over three? Three over three? Who managed to get three over okay, three? Okay, three over three. Okay, okay, we can see that all of them got all correct, teacher. Thanks for fully. the first task. Okay, so <laughs> I job. am a proud teacher. Good job, guys. So, see, we can we have unlocked the objective number one. one. Okay, moving on. Now, on the screen, you guys will see um, a picture of questions. Okay, mm -hmm. for this one, um, who who will talk about this? Okay, uh, Sam. 
Sam, in which paper will you see such questions? Mm-hmm. Huh. Which paper, Sam? Huh. Writing paper or reading paper? For this part three, right, Tisha? Huh. For this part three. Uh -huh. It's okay, Sam. Hey, Just choose excuse one. Excuse me. Okay, Sam. So... For SPM, we will have four papers, right? So, in which paper will we see this kind of question? Mm -hmm. Reading paper, listening paper, or writing paper? Writing paper. Okay, great. Okay. Okay, so, SPM, starting from 2021, we will have four different papers. And you will see such questions in your writing paper. Okay, great. So, actually, using reported speech in answering this uh, these questions will help you to score even higher okay let us see how can you how you can how can you manage um a higher score mm -hmm. okay then see for question number two just now you are expected to write a movie review okay so you guys should choose a film that you know well and you guys are expected to give a summary of the film talking about the plot or yes. how the story goes on and then number three you guys are allowed to state your opinion on the film so the, on the third bullet to give your opinion using a reported speech to talk about your favorite scenes or dialogues or lines from the movie will act on the impact to the reader mm -hmm. okay let us see how can we do this aha uh -huh, so we can see two pictures on the screen now so Wani can you guess from which movie we have these lines Huh, I think it is from Frozen. Frozen. Let it go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let I think go. everyone everyone uh, has watched this movie even once. Okay, yes. so according to the audience, okay, so these are these two lines are among the most famous lines taken from the movie. So today we will try to tr uh, to convert these two direct speeches into mm -hmm. reported speeches to make your movie review or film review more interesting to read. Uh -huh. Okay, let us see. Uh -huh. So first one. So as we all know, Olaf is such a funny and easygoing character and he has spoken so many interesting lines. And one of the funniest scenes is when Olaf... Okay, so this is the task for you guys in our second task. Okay. Mm -hmm. So how to report Olaf's speech into a reported speech in your film review okay for this one i think i would like to hear from farhani farhani, farhani. um one of the funniest scene mm -hmm. is when olaf says he okay. does not know why but he always loved the idea of summer and mm -hmm. sun and all things hot okay uh -huh. thank you farhani thank you okay so farhani just now he said he, he doesn't know. So, doesn't know is a simple present tense. And can we use present tense in a film review? Yes, you are expected. We are supposed to write all everything in simple present, present tense. tense. Okay. So, let us check the answer. Okay. Fantastic, Farhani. So, Olaf says he doesn't know why he has always loved the idea of summer and sun and all things hot. Mm -hmm. Well, for me, this is funny because Olaf doesn't really know that what will happen if he enters or if he joins or, or when the summer comes? He will yes. melt down. But <laughs> we should be like all of so positive and we should not fear the, the unknown. Right. Okay. Next, let us see. So, this is one of the most important characters in Frozen. Anna, such a, an innocent girl. Okay, so this is a dialogue that she says to her sister, Elsa. So, we have the direct speech here. So, some, uh, the audience perceived this as one of the most touching scenes in the film. So, mm -hmm. for this one, I would like to hear from um, Aini. Aini, give it a try. What will be your answer for this one? Okay. One of the most touching scenes is okay. when Anna tells Elsa that she believes in her more than anyone or anything. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Okay, let us check the answer. Anna tells Elsa that she believes in her more than anyone or anything. Okay, now, Aini, the pronoun her, the pronoun her refers to Anna or Elsa? Anna. Anna? Anna? Anna What's believes in Anna? 
Elsa. Elsa, great. Elsa, okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you. So, we have tried to convert two direct speeches into reported speeches. Okay, let us see now. So, in writing a film review, you can use a reported speech so that you can make the audience feel urged mm -hmm. to read uh, to watch the movie as well. Yes. Okay, so in writing a story as well, you are encouraged to use reported speech. Okay, question number three. What is the most dangerous situation you have ever been? How did you feel and write a story? So, when you are writing a story to write uh, a meaningful one, you guys are supposed to include some elements, including, like you guys will use some sentences that will stimulate senses. For example, if you want to write about the happy story, mm -hmm. you, will, you guys will write something like, in a warm morning when the birds were chirping, mm -hmm. the kids were running happily. Okay, so using reported speech will bring the, the similar effect. Okay. Right. So why do we use reported speech? To add in some element of suspense, surprise or sadness. For example, in this question, you guys are expected to write about a dangerous situation. Okay, so let us see how to include reported speech in writing a suspenseful story. Okay. So see, we have a situation there. Okay, we have a situation there. You will have, you can see a robbery incident. You will see a robber, a victim, and you guys, you yourself as a witness, mm -hmm. and you guys will write or retell the incident in your story or recount. So, you will tell the, the readers about what you, what you heard coming from the robber. So, the robber said, I'll shoot you if you scream, and the victim said, please don't, and you guys, and you, a very shocked thing. Yes, <laughs> OMG. I bet you guys will see OMG. You will, see, you will start crying if you see <laughs> such incident. Okay, so let us see how to report the speech given by the robber. Okay, so you guys want to tell the audience rather, rather than saying, rather than writing, I saw a robber, the robber threatened the victim. You guys, you guys can use reported speech to make mm -hmm. it more suspenseful. Okay? Yes. So let's see. For this one, my heart jumped out of my chest when the robber... Okay, my heart jumped out of my chest is an idiom or expression. Okay, so in order to add some more um, elements in the writing, you can use this one. And this is more suitable to use in a scary situation. Okay, yes. so let us see. For this one, um, I think Sam can help us with this. Sam? Okay, Sam. Okay, Sam, are you ready with yes. the answer? Okay. Your answer, please, Sam. My heart jumped out of my chest. Oh, my heart jumped out of my chest when mm -hmm. the robber threatened to shoot if he screamed. To shoot who, Sam? Oh, to shoot the victim mm. if he screamed. Okay, thank uh -huh. you. Thank you, Sam, thank for you, the Sam. answer. We would like to check the answer is correct or wrong. But before that, let us take a break and we'll be back in Road to Success SPM 2021 right after this. TV KPM. Welcome back in Road to Success SPM 2021 with me, Wani Keri, also with our teacher Faiza and our six students, six amazing students from SMK Bagan Terap, Sungai Besar. So, uh, previously we have listened to uh, Sam's answer yes. for this task. Okay, right now we want to see whether Sam's answer is correct or wrong. Let us see, teacher. Okay, so let us see whether Sam got it right or wrong. Okay, so... My heart jumped out of my chest when the robber threatened to shoot the victim if he screamed. Okay, great, Sam. You have given us a correct answer. Yay. So now, Sam, the word he, the pronoun he here, uh, it refers to who? The robber or the victim? The robber or the victim, Sam? Mm -hmm. Excuse me? <laughs> okay, Sam. The word he there, the pronoun he there, it refers the to the robber or the victim? Mm -hmm. The victim. Okay, great. Okay. What, what will happen if teacher wants to replace the word he into they? Is that possible? Is that right? They. T-H-E-Y. Is that right? No. Why? Why is it wrong, Sam? Can you please tell me? Mm-hmm. Because the robber wants to shoot the guy only. 
Okay, mm -hmm. great. Right. So we we only have one victim in the picture or in the incident, right? Okay, mm -hmm. thank you, Sam. So it shows that you guys are able to use a correct time expression and are able to change the pronouns correctly, which is very good. Okay. Yes. Excellent, Sam. Okay, good job, Sam. So we are done with our second task and huh. let us see whether we have unlocked our second objective. So you guys were expected to change three dialogues or three uh, lines into reported speeches with correct uh, sentence structure in task 2 and it seems that we have successfully achieved the second objective. As, okay, so we have come to the last part of our lesson today which mm -hmm. is task 3. Before that teacher, yes. we haven't seen whether they got all correct for the task 2. Oh yeah, I forgot ah. about that. Okay, thank you Wani for reminding me. Okay yeah. guys, can you please show with, our, with your fingers how many answers how many correct answers did you get for task number two? Mm -hmm. Show me your fingers. Who got three over three? Shows three. Everyone got right? Okay. Everyone got all correct. Okay. Congratulations. Such <laughs> fantastic students. Okay. Yes. So now let us move on to the last task, which is, it is a sharing session. So this task is supposed to test your, your, your um, I would say the, your, understanding on changing a direct speech into a reported speech. So this time you guys are expected to share your favourite lines or dialogues in a movie in the form of a reported speech. And I am sure you guys are such a movie uh, apa? Movie lover. Movie lovers, <laughs> yeah. Of course, we all love movies, right? Yes. Especially when the K-pop comes to the surface. Yeah, <laughs> lots of Korean movies. I even can't pronounce the name of the characters. Okay. Yes. So, we have you guys, uh, teacher will give about two minutes to get ready with your answers, okay? And then please try to try your best to report the speech from your favorite character and the favorite lines. Okay, mm -hmm. two minutes from now. Okay, Wani, how about you yourself? Yes. What is your favorite movie? A uh, movie or movie genre, teacher? Um, it can be both. Okay, how about the movie genre? Movie genre, I really love horror movie. Horror movie? Yes. <laughs> okay, so can you please name one of the most interesting horror movie that you have watched before? Uh -huh. I will choose our uh, local movie mm -hmm. uh, that I love uh, for horror. It is uh, Munafik. Munafik, the one mm -hmm. directed by Shamsul Shamsu Yusof. Okay, yes, so our local, uh, uh, what we call it, um, local movie and also director. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is very good to always give our best support to local directors, right? Yes. Uh, okay. So yesterday I have just watched a movie mm -hmm. called uh, Ro. Uh -huh. Okay, it features Namron and all and all the other uh, famous uh, actress and actors. Yes, okay. Farah. Yeah, Farah. Teacher, we watched the same movie yesterday. Ro, right? I watched it too. <laughs> yeah, there, there, there are a lot of jump scares in the movie. Right. And my favourite part in the movie is, is when Namron, Namron he got too brought up with his emotions until yes. he failed to f the to save the innocent family, right? Right. Okay, it's so heartbreaking. Mm -hmm. Okay, kids, time is up. Time Two minutes is, up. is done. Okay, okay. so let, let's, let us hear from, your, uh, from you about your favourite lines from your favorite movie. So first one, I would like to call upon Aini. Can Aini. you please share with us, Aini? Okay, Aini, share with us your movie that you chose and also the favorite lines. Okay. Okay, I want to share about Naruto the movie. Naruto? Okay. My favorite dialogue comes from Uzumaki Naruto. Mm -hmm. Uzumaki Naruto is a fighter as a ninja aiming to reconcile the ninja nation state rather than go to the war. Okay. Because of that, many of them did not like him. So some people told him that he would fail, but he would prove that their words were wrong. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, thank you okay. for sharing, Aini. Okay, uh, so Aini, just now you said that your favourite character is Naruto. Okay, so Naruto, uh, can you please repeat the reported speech, uh, Aini? The last okay. part of, of, your, of, of what you said just now. Some people told him that he would fail, but he would prove that their words were wrong. Okay, mm -hmm. so some people told him that he would fail. Okay, so the whole villagers, they, they, they thought that Naruto will fail because he is no one. But yes. it, he ends up with a very huge success, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good job, Aini. Okay, now let us move to... Okay, um, Wani, this time I would like you to choose. Okay, I would like to choose Nurin. Okay, Nurin. 
Can you please share with us yes. your favorite line? Okay, Nuri. Okay. My favorite line is from the Bobo Boy movie. Bobo Boy, okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. In the movie, mm -hmm. Bobo Boy and his team have to fight their enemies. Okay. Bobo Boy, as a good leader, motivate his team that whatever happened to them, they mm -hmm. must just fight it. Uh -huh. Okay, whatever happened to them, they must just fight, fight it. it. Okay. So, Noreen, what is the reporting verb that you used just now? Motivate. 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 Okay, thank you. So, guys, in terms of uh, choosing a right reporting verb, you must know the whole context of the sentence. So, mm -hmm. instead of saying, just saying, um, a Bobo Boy said, yeah. Bobo Boy told, you can choose the word motivate to bring more impact in your read, uh, in mm -hmm. your writing. So, we know that Bobo Boy is the one who always motivates his team. Okay. Yes. So, uh, thank you. Good job, Noreen. For now, I will choose um, Ain. Ain. Ain yourself? Tell us, Ain, your favorite line. Uh, my favorite movie is uh, Agent Ali movie. Agent Ali, uh, okay. And the movie is about Agent Ali and Mata. Mm -hmm. Fight with Nikki that is a peripheral person that want to use Iris Neo. Uh, my favorite line in the movie is uh, in the last scene that Ali's mother taught him that uh, Iris great is not who the user but the courage in the user that makes it great. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. So we have Bobo Boy, we have Agent Ali, we have Naruto. It seems yes. like our kids, they love anime and cartoons, <laughs> right? Right. Okay, so some people might thought that Watching cartoon is just a waste of time, but it mm -hmm. seems that they got inspired by all the lines in the cartoons and anime they have watched. Okay, so mm -hmm. just now, um, Ayn said that uh, Ayn used the reporting verb told. Okay, told. so Ayn, can you please think of another reporting verb that will bring a more uh, much uh, or high impact in your writing? To replace the told. Uh, to replace the word told. Okay. Remind. Remind, 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 excellent, Ayn. So, yes. rather than saying just told, we can say remind it. So, the uh, the readers will be sure that it is a reminder. Yes. Okay, great job, Ayn. Good job, Ayn. Okay, next one, it's your turn to choose. Okay, I want to choose Sam. Okay, Sam. Come on, Sam. Uh, my, f my favorite movie is also Naruto. Naruto. In Naruto, a girl named Tamari, the leader of the Sand Country, mm -hmm. uh, always told her opponent to never underestimate her. Mm -hmm. Told her opponent to never underestimate her. Okay, okay, thank you, Sam. Okay, now the word, the pronoun her there, Sam, represent or refers to Tamari. Tamari, okay. Tamari. Good, see? There are a lot of motivating lines in the movies, even though uh, the movies they have chosen are cartoons and um, anime. Okay, yes. so it's my turn now. Mm -hmm. So let us hear from Auni. Auni? Yes. Okay, okay. your turn now. Tell Aouni. us, Auni. One of my favorite lines is from Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Mm -hmm. Hermione, Hermione said to Harry Potter and Ron Weasley that she read book only just for fun but the book that Hermione read is thick is really thick book okay mm -hmm. so what what uh, what is um, Hermione, Hermione Hermione how should I say the, the, the name Hermione. Hermione Hermione what is Hermione doing <laughs> actually giving and giving and that's the fun line a explanation he is a, she explains okay, yeah. her hobby mm -hmm. okay so Instead of saying say or told, she can use, uh, you can use the word explain to her explain. friends. Mm -hmm. Okay, last but not least. Yes. Last but not least, let us hear from Farhani, I think. Farhani hasn't shared with us the, the, the opinion or the favourite line, Farhani. Farhani, last one to um, share with us. The dialogue I would love to share with you guys okay. is from a movie called Your Name. Mm -hmm. It was when Itoha Miyumizu the grandmother of the main character mm -hmm. advised her grandchildren that even if words are lost, tradition should be handed down. Okay, great. Okay, mm -hmm. so Vani, what is the reporting verb that you used just now? 
advice. 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 Okay, nice so one. the readers and the audience will be sure you can, can feel the love between a grandmother and a granddaughter. Mm -hmm. Okay, so all of you guys, all of you have shared with us the opinions and then your favorite lines. So let us see whether we have unlocked the third objectives. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let, we are sure that you guys have shared your favorite lines or dialogue. So we have unlocked all three objectives and it shows that we have come to the end of the lesson. Okay, so that's all from me. Thank you. Okay, so that is all from teacher Faiza uh, who shared with us a lot of new knowledge and also skills and techniques on how uh, to get a high score for reported speech. So teacher, uh, yes. I would like to ask you, uh, what is the common mistake that students always do for this section? of the paper. Okay, so one of the common common mistakes is um, failing to, uh, to use or to choose the correct pronouns. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then especially when you are talking about the film review, sometimes you use uh, wrong tenses or maybe you guys mix the uh, um, a number of tenses which mm -hmm. might confuse the readers. Yes. So when readers have problem to understand the writing, it shows that your writing is not uh, as effective as you guys are supposed to write. Yes, yeah, so they have to um, they have to improve their tense and also pronounce, right, yes, teacher? Yes, pronounce. Okay, last but not least, we would like to hear your last word for all the students who are watching you right now, teacher. Okay, thank you. So, people, everyone can write, okay? And then, uh, in writing, you guys are expected, you guys are encouraged and welcome to write to your heart content. But with all the uh, learn skills, you might want to challenge yourself to use all the skills learned to challenge yourself to use new vocabs, new idioms and new expressions to make your um, uh, writing interesting. And if you have, if you are able to challenge yourself to use all the skills, I will guarantee that you guys will end up with a masterpiece on your table. Yes, that is all from our teacher today, Teacher Faiza Ayuni Jamil from SMK Bagan Terap Sungai Besar. Thank you so much, Teacher, for spending us your time, also your knowledge that you have shared with us today. And I would like to thank to all students. Uh, I would like to thank Nurin, Shamsul, Aini, Ain, Farhaini, and Auni for being a very supportive and committed students uh, throughout the, this whole program. And I would like to ask the last question. Uh, semua student okey tak dekat situ? Ha, macam mana belajar English hari ni? Best tak? Okay, alright. And I also enjoyed uh, today's lesson and I hope and I wish you all the best for all the students who are taking English subjects for SPM 2021. Um, may all of you success with flying colours and make your parents and teachers proud of your achievement. Alright, so that is all from me, Wani Kerry, and we'll see in the next time only in Road to Success SPM 2021. Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum. Didik TV KPM Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Jalaluddin bin Rais I have a son who will be sitting for SPM examination this year His name is Ahmad Zahir I pray that Ahmad Zahir could get A in all the paper that he will sit and later he would get the opportunity to further his study in the field of study which he loves so much thank you Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh I am Madam Rosella binti Abu Bakar. I would like to dedicate this special message to my beloved daughter Nur Fahda binti Tugimin, SPM candidate of 2021 in SMK Bagantara. Fahda, I wish you all the best in your coming SPM examination. May Allah bless all your hard work and dedication that you have shown. Don't forget the utmost, solat and a lot of dua. May Allah grant you a great success in your future, insha'Allah. <laughs>